everyone. My name is Mirza. I'm a global team member with Euphoria International, and I'm here to talk to you today about after highlights fade, will your natural blonde hair return? Blonde highlights don't necessarily fade out. Once you put a highlight in, you've actually removed the melanin in the hair, and now the hair is so pale that it can just grow out. It's sort of like painting on a black canvas with a white marker. That white's not really gonna go away unl unless you cover it back up with black. So it's kind of the same concept. Once you put the highlight in, until it grows out, you won't see your natural hair color. Once it grows out, you will see your natural hair color grow back in, and that's fine. However, toning blonde highlights, it's what's really gonna make the difference as to how it grows out. In my hand here, I have a couple swatches that I'm gonna show you. Right here, we're looking at cosmetic blonde tones, which basically means that these are not natural blonde tones that come up in nature. So this is something that we do as colorists. We use this, these types of toners, to get this type of a result. These are much, much, much more natural colors, and these are what you want to stick to if you want to blend it more with your natural color as it grows out. The cosmetic tones, for instance, to get hair platinum, you actually have to use a violet toner. So for that to grow out, you'd have to keep toning your hair and toning it to make it last, right? A toner will generally fade after about four to six weeks. Keeping that in mind, you wanna to stick to the more natural tones so that when your natural hair grows back in, it blends in a lot better. When you're doing much, much more dramatic hair colors is when you wanna use some of these toners and those are not going to grow out quite as naturally. So you will have to at some point, if you wanna let your natural hair grow back in, you will have to tone these highlights down with a more natural blonde tone.